Saracens are doing things very well at the moment, even to the extent that they've managed to lay on a few inches of snow on the day that they present to the media their new artificial turf here at Coptal Stadium. Now artificial turf is nothing new, of course in the 1980s several football teams experimented with astroturfs and all of those experiments were abandoned, but this is a completely different kettle of fish. We are told that this is the future, it's the real deal, it looks like grass, it feels like grass, it has give like turf and people are ready to play rugby on it. When we were looking for a new home, uh, and we hunted far and wide and, and explored a, a lot of different options. What it came down to was we needed something where we could engage with the community. Uh, and in order to do so, we, we needed a pitch that could be available uh, to school children, uh, to other rugby clubs, to other uh, participants within the community. 24 uh, hours a day, seven days a week, 365. Uh, and an artificial pitch effectively is the only thing that, that can tick the box. We need to see what's going to transpire as, as the season goes forward. But I think it's very exciting times for, for English rugby and to see, hopefully, a, a pitch that will d deliver a great, fast product akin to summer pitches. It is a layered approach, and then this starts right from the foundation, which is effectively the first part of this. When the stone goes down, it, it's like constructing a car park. All right, So it's important we get that flat, we get it absolutely level, so that the rest of the layers are, are going to sit appropriately. Move into this shock pad, which is effectively a rubberized compound several inches thick, uh, which is really what the point of the difference with this pitch is, because it allows for potential catastrophic incidents in a rugby match, say like a dropped line out from coming down from, from several feet uh, and landing on your head, and that uh, it has to comply with the head impact criteria to ensure it's safe. Uh, on top of the the shock pad, we then put the turf, which is like a, a, a carpet of yarn, which is the green component that keeps the closest thing to grass. Uh, then we have a, a sand and a rubberized infill that give it the, the playability and the characteristics similar to a, uh, to a natural grass pitch. I mean, that's soft like grass, but then you've got this, this stuff here, which I mean, looks harmless enough to me, but that'll burn if you get tackled on that you'll get lesions. You would get abrasions, but it's how you manage those abrasions yeah. once they're done. And I, again, I think that the issues we've had is a lot of the anecdotal evidence coming from other surfaces that probably aren't as good as this uh, have not been particularly positive. And I think therefore we need to take the facts and we need to look at what's happened. And, and certainly speaking to the Saracens players and the feedback they've been given has been very positive over their training and what they've done here. <laughs> The pitch has been great. It's it's fast. It's it's you know dynamic. You can you can turn even bigger guys like myself can 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 use their feet a little a little bit more. And um, you know I think it's going to be it's going to be a fast game. Um, and going down on the pitch is, is 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 not any issues at all. This is a bit bouncier, a bit springier, and um, I definitely don't miss the mud. <laughs> it's it's a lot easier. You get a couple of black marks off the rubber crumb, but uh, no, it's a lot easier. And for me uh, as a hooker. Uh, throwing the ball in, the ball stays a lot drier, so I'm, I'm much happier with that. If you get the ascendancy in the, in, in, in the, in the scrum because you've got good grip under your feet, uh, it, it, it could be a good day. Um, so I think this turf would, would handle a scrum really well. A few of the boys have got cuts and bruises in this fight, but you get that, it's, it's rugby, rugby's a contact sport, you're used to getting a couple of bumps and bruises, so it's fine. The only uh, question that I have at the minute is what studs to wear. I don't think you can wear uh, longer studs on this pitch, but. I guess that's just trial and error, so uh, once I figure that out, then you know, we're all go and it's uh, looking forward to playing on it, really. I think overall it's, it's, a, it's a massive step forward for English rugby and I'm pretty sure if this is success, we'll be seeing more and more of these pitches uh, popping up in the Premiership in the years to come.